Theme song. Hey guys, welcome. We haven't done a vlog in a while, so we thought we'd do it. So yeah, things and stuff. How's everyone been? Lonely. Lonely. We've been playing the 355 beta. It's which fun. is yeah, yeah it's, it's i mean the sad thing is we're approaching it like you know we're talking about things like you know hit stun and stuff and none of that matters no like none of what we're playing is really going to be it's all going to change yeah we're going to when it comes out every fight is going to be changed to comb at the frog and <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing's going to matter nothing it's just it's going to be fucking horrible everybody's going to have nakali hair I fucking hate that. I hate Nakali. It's just it's a shitty... No fucking fighting game character in 2015 should have a move that makes them look like Neo Dio from World Heroes Perfect. <laughs> look that up. It's a thing that happened. Uh, what else? What have you been doing? Nothing. I've been... been... been masturbating a cup and throw it on you. I've been streaming a lot. Oh, okay. I'm doing the streaming thing. Right. And I don't know Xbox... What's wrong with the old Halo, one? Nothing. I wanted to. So I don't have to move it to this room. That's, that's See, it's, it's down there. That's not okay. It, it is. Um, no, it's because now I have two. And one's specifically just for Netflix and stuff. And don't have to move it. It's, it's easier that way. Right. Um, so I got the Halo console. That, that was cool. I did an unboxing video of that. Because I'm a boring chud. Don't get unboxing videos. Unless there's something in the box, or the box is a puzzle. Like, if, yeah, the Xbox comes in a box and you have, you know, it's a puzzle box. You gotta fucking talk to Pinhead <laughs> to get it fucking done. And he just won't shut up about his kids. <laughs> he has really changed. Marriage has softened Pinhead. Mm. So you play, you finished Life is Strange this week? I finished Life is Strange. Was that strange? Um, okay, well, <sighs> Life is Strange, it's a good series. Yeah. If, like me, you have... I think I have an ovary in me somewhere. Like, it's not a dominant trait by any means. Yeah. Like, I am larger, but there is... Like, and I, you know, I, I read... Um, I've been doing an assignment on um, the history of women's pornography. And so I've been reading romance novels. And bear... Now, bear in mind, there, particularly in the modern era when any fucking monkey can get published, there is a lot of shitty... There's just a lot of bad, mm. bad written... Badly written romance novels. Um, the ones that are written quite well, though, are actually really good reads. Hmm. And, you know, as a result, this sort of... And it was something that I... I don't know if it developed or if it just awakened when I was working in bars, is I am a huge social voyeur and gossip. <laughs> so, I... Like, I, 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 I don't... I tell people, don't tell me something unless... If you, if you say it's a fucking secret, then fine. But for the love of God, remember to say that. Otherwise, I will fucking tell everybody. <laughs> Tell every soul because it fascinates me. So, you know, because of this, I enjoy Life is Strange because, yeah, I got like a spare over. Mm. And it's, I mean, it's a good game. It does that kind of, um, you know, walk around and do shit, but it has a little time travel mechanic, so it adds to the puzzles. And some of the puzzles are actually reasonably tricky. Like, there's some that are sort of required a bit of fucking thinking. Mm. Um, but it had a bunch of threads. And it had, like, the basic high school social sort of plot thread mm. um it had and then it had like the fucking time travel world ending plot thread yeah. and the fifth game about the last half of the fifth game the last quarter goes apeshit mm. and it becomes really fucking interesting because she's been just jumping around muddling up time mm. and she blacks out and so then probably just, spoilers here if yeah. you don't want to hear the I'm not going to give it's no but still some people get eh, the so ending result is largely so throw a little spoiler yeah, the, the ending result's largely choice based but it is it's just it's, it's pick an ending hmm. and none of them it does not it does all this really interesting shit with the time travel mechanic and what that could possibly mean and then just forgets about that entirely and focuses you know it, it kind of sort of ends the high school danger sort of teen novel hmm. bit doesn't really end, doesn't do anything fucking interesting with the time travel bit, and then gives you a choice for sort of the, you know, major sort of friendship component of the game. Yeah. And, well, okay, you know how when games have multiple endings, and one of them's, like, you know, what, what was the last game, you know, where you, you pick an ending, right? We have to have a choice, like, oh, do you rescue or do you explode mm. their head? Right. 
in this one, one of those cho one of the endings is 30 seconds long and the other is 12 minutes long. <laughs> Which do you think is the ending that the developers were fucking hammering you toward? 12. Yeah. And that is really fucking annoying because there is a lot of other shit to resolve in the 30 second yeah. ending. They just ignore it. They just don't fucking yeah. care. So it's like, ah, <laughs> credits. So it's like, when I make a game, I want the ending just to be me masturbating into a cup. <laughs> I want it based on this experience I had once where I had an erection in a cinema and then the fire alarm went off, so I just had to fucking stand up. Mm. That was that was a horrible experience because I was like fucking I think nineteen or some shit and mm. baked. Um, so I was already paranoid. Uh, I've always wanted to have a movie where it's like eh, there's an after credit sequence and it's just like really hot girls going at it for like a solid thirty seconds and then just bang hard cut lights come on get out of the cinema. <laughs> I don't want to. Stuff to do. So the other thing we got this week is we got a package. So that's cool. Um, Hot in here. Mailbags. Awesome. I'd, I've always wanted to do a mailbag session. So <laughs> some people send us some stuff. You've always wanted strange. strangers to send you things. Don't turn on the fan. It's hot in here. Yeah, but it makes noise. I don't care. It's very, very warm. There's a room If you want to fucking... blame someone for the terrible audio now, because that's constantly picking that up on the microphone now. Is it? Yeah, it's just going... Woom, 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 woom. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Christ! One thing after another. Welcome to Australia, people. Yeah, it's just kicking into fucking summer. So, we got a package, and someone sent us some lovely hobnobs from England. <laughs> this is, because I've heard of these, I mean, A, they're McVitie's hobnobs. And I asked Aaron, I was like, what the fuck is a hobnob? Because I've heard the word, I never really, I've never had anything to associate it's with it. It's hobgoblin to you. The description that it has on it is the knobbly biscuit. That doesn't help. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's, that's an answer that just raises more questions. So we, we did get a letter as well. Dear Aaron and Gabriel, I hope these biscuits find you well and aren't completely destroyed slash gone off in trend. I wanted to send chocolate hobnobs because of the bottoms hobnob fight, but figured that the heat might melt them into a super biscuit. I want a super biscuit. Hobnobs are good because they don't feel like dipping... I think that says crackers? Dipping... Yeah, I don't know what that is. Like dipping... Cream. Dipping demon name. I think that's just an unpronounceable demon name. In in cola, like rich tea does. I guess it's all British don't stuff. Don't taste like... Ours themselves, like, themselves like, like digestives. Digestive. Keep it classy, guys. From at Morig. Thank you for that. Um, okay, so I think... I'm not... We're not paying out on your handwriting too much, because... I'll show you some of mine one day, and oh my god. Your handwriting looks... <laughs> Like someone trying to remote draw this chicken scratch. This is why I don't need to. To be fair, that is that is actually a really big issue. Like oh, trying terrible. to get the kids to actually get the handwriting. Branson has showed up and he's shaking nuggets at us. I don't need your nuggets. I've got knobs. You eating hobnobs? Yes. I don't even know. What they I fucking Branson. leave me my biscuits. There we go. We're in the middle of the filming, and Gabriel is shouting at the biscuits. All right. I'm gonna taste these biscuits. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, that is a bleak looking fucking biscuit. What's it taste like? Is there sugar in it? Oh, no, it smells. See, this, this, I think there's a similar Australian biscuit, but it's like called something different. Yeah. Ah, not okay, a tangle pot. Give me one of them hobnobs. This tastes like eating dry wheat bits. This is a grandma biscuit. I, I, I've had. I've had the chocolate oh. before. Actually, no, I find these pleasant. I don't know. They go with tea. Yeah, I, I was about to say that. They need tea. Why do you think I invited you over? <laughs> Someone has to make the tea. <laughs> Why am I the tea guy? All I. I'm going to call you tea bag for a reason. Cool. So thank you for the hobnobs. We really appreciate it. If you would like to send us weird packages, including voodoo dolls, food, or other antiquities, please check out the address down below. We're going to have um, some content up over the week. I'm going to be doing a lot of things in advance because I will be at PAX um, next week. So if you see me there, come say hello, kick me in the balls, whatever. Um, please don't do that. Please do No, because not 
not so much that I mind going to kick him the ball, but you will get kicked out of packs, and I don't want that to happen. Mm. So, um, those crazy enforcers. Yeah. So, thanks, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting us. Keep liking and sharing and subbing, and maybe we'll see you next week eating some random stuff. I'm surprised I let them call them enforcers. Yeah, that sounds very authoritarian. They are. They they rule with an iron fist. I call my penis the enforcer. I call mine Organ Freeman. And with that, we'll catch you later.